She got a thing for Chanel Vintage that dry before she can speak English. Do you love me and love seeking attention? I mean... What's up, YouTube? It's Drew, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're coming at y'all with a big body banger. Today, we coming at y'all with an NBA 2K21 video. Now, first thing first, make sure y'all smash that like, comment, and subscribe button for me real quick. Y'all saw what it said in the intro, the pre-intro, the after intro. You, you already know how it goes. You know the rule. Now, listen. Today, uh, it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna be talking about this game instead of actually just playing this game. Y'all see, I got the little highlights. A lot of it is just full clips of games to keep y'all entertained so you're not looking at a black screen. But listen, NBA 2K21 is a game in progress, man. Like, current gen, I feel like right now, is doing way better than next gen, right? In terms of actual gameplay and stuff. Because next gen, y'all down terrible. First off, starting with next gen. They made a whole big body New York City and it looked like there's still a pandemic going in it. There was not enough people allowed in the servers for y'all to be having all them games. I'll be seeing like, I don't know if they updated it, but I saw y'all, what it's only a maximum of a hundred people or something like that. And like in that big behind city, it looked like it hard to find games. And when you're not a content creator, like a well-known dude, it's already hard to find games. So like, like you gotta wait sometimes. And imagine that, but now you got to hike to freaking all these places. You got to hike to Madagascar, Alaska, all these, all these different places just to play a game of 2K. Like, I know I would not be, like, I don't even play the game as it is. I only really play to give y'all some entertainment, give y'all some content, go a little crazy for y'all, y'all. You feel me? So, like, look, that's just a small thing, right? But let's go back to the stuff that I know and love. This current gen stuff. And I'm sure this still applies to the next gen. But look, current gen, we could have had so much. Like, we could, this had a lot of potential. Like, NBA 2K always has a lot of potential. But it's just disappointing how current gen didn't even get anything. Like, they gave us four pie charts and then false advertised in a trailer. Like, new pie charts. Y'all gave us four new pie charts. Calm down, Billy. Calm down, Mike Wang. Yes. Calm down, bro. Cause like, like, what is this game? You feel me? Like, this game is is just made for play shots. And if unless you were really like, I'm a, I'm a, I would consider myself a good player. I don't want to say I'm a really, really good player, but like, I, I would, I'd be winning games. You know, uh, especially as of lately. You know, as I got older and progressed. You feel me? I'm not here on my Mr. Miyagi. I just said Mr. Miyagi. That's that's a shame. But on my Mr. Miyagi, Ultra Instinct, Goku type stuff, be dunking on people, going crazy. I really like the Zion build. Uh, but that's beside the point, right? So if you like, if you casual and everything, and you come on this game, it's like, it's just ran by play, like play shots. It just ran by the same type of archetype. There's no variety. There's no fun to it if you not like if you don't know how to succeed on your build like if you are a slasher and you are a trasher like you are a trash slasher and the dude just sits in the paint you are going to get bots like you're going to be struggling the whole time you're not going you're not going to amount to anything with your build so i understand the pain in that and then that's where you get the complaints where it's like oh we got this one op build running the thing it's always been like that though play shots they pretty much have ran every like even if you think back to before there was double archetypes the best builds were pretty much shooting builds. i mean outside of like 2k 17 i would say like you could run that little playmaker and still go crazy you know that y'all know what i'm talking about that playmaker because the ankle breakers were elite but 2k i guess like they traded in fun for a more realistic experience. And then you see on next gen, the balance in that experience is not the same. The balance in realism and then like the balance in simulation versus arcadey is just way too 
like it's way toward the arcade bro we got aiden ross that that little weird <laughs> we got him quitting a whole 2k till they fixed the game like you know this is real and it's, it's crazy i mean like there's no way that comp players should be able to get beat by six seven power forwards right like six what what is it what's the meta six seven power forward that can dunk like they shouldn't have like if you're gonna do that you need to make it so that not everybody can can be op like it's good to have everybody being able to shoot it but like you have this one build that's op you need some balance like you need there to be a purpose of making a big like you want to make like in 2k17 Yes, it was arcade at times, but there was a purpose to having a center. There was a purpose to having a shooting guard. There was a purpose to having a small forward. There was a purpose to having a point guard. Look at me. I sound like I'm MOK in this. I have a dream. I have a dream where 2K is fun again, man. <laughs> I have a dream, bro. And there was a whole, there was a purpose for every build, but now it's like there's only one purpose, and that one purpose is shooting and, and dunking, right? like defense is no longer a purpose in next gen like you don't even got like people don't even be touching the defensive stats and still are solid like all that matters to most people is just dunking like you know being able to finish uh being able to shoot and being able to dribble and then they just leave defense alone like there needs to be a purpose amongst these attributes and amongst these positions there needs to be balance so like say if if i pulled up on uh next gen right now with a lockdown, right? Like there's no way to make a lockdown, but you know, if he had defense in his build, right? It really wouldn't do too much. Like it wouldn't like, outside of like the interior stuff, like he's straight, you know, a bunch of other people, they don't got defense and they out here thriving. So we gotta be able to make the things that matter in real life matter in this game. I understand you wanna make the game fun or like do whatever, I guess the complaints were, right? You wanna make the game so people enjoy it but you're you're going toward the casual side and there's a lot of people that actually play this game for comp and in my opinion when you play like and you're actually trying like that's when the game is at its most fun like people were playing fortnite because not only was it fun but it was hard like when we had these little 50 year old mic'd up <laughs> dudes out here build spamming and and headshotting everybody it was painful and you wanted to get better like that's the thing you really wanted to close the skill gap and you you played like i know a bunch of people i was like how old was i, I was like 12 12 13 something like that and i was trying like i was grinding that trying to get better it was like i remember that summer the most because it was so fun because i was playing with my friends paul <laughs> i just made that pop but yeah i was playing uh with my friends on fortnite and it just made everything so much fun while i was trying to grind i was trash don't get me wrong you can see some of the old videos i was trash but like i enjoyed it i had fun playing the game and with 2k i could say that sometimes at least for like my slashing build i remember when i shot it was on my shooting build on 2k20 i didn't have fun i'm a, like all it was was just shooting and I, I know i got bored of it real quick like it was just the same stuff different day bro honestly it was just shooting like crabbing people and re repeat i don't know how people have fun with that you know like and it's not necessarily hard there's not too many good defense like there's not too many good defenders on here like i that's the reason why i could be on here with normal basic dribble moves and still like if you look at my videos with the zion build he don't have pro dribble moves <laughs> like that's just me doing what i gotta do like i would understand if there was good defenders and it was like taxing to score but you don't really come across those type of players so i mean instead of tending to the casual players divide the game right where you have the comp and then you have the casual of the casual right so you ranked that's that's what fortnite did i know they they made ranked and it, it really did make the game a lot better when you got ranked so you're not raising all the time losing to these 50 year old like you you're paired up with people who play at the same level that you do so now in a way it's like comp but casual comp it's not like you out here about to get cracked every game like if they could make like and you know they have the service where they got the money for it you know how many people would be paying <laughs> for this game and then we're not even gonna talk about this but the aesthetic of the game like i said earlier you make a whole city for next gen i mean current gen you could have at least gave us 
I mean, like the beach is cool. I mean, it's cool, but like you could at least throw in some affiliations, at least rivet like the basic ones, you know, and then give next gen a little newer ones, like stuff like that, or give us a new uh, attribute system. Like you didn't have to, cause at the end of the day, people still gonna buy next gen, you know, like people still gonna buy it. <laughs> you don't gotta give us everything, but at least give us something, you know, cause not everybody got the, the, the resources and the time and like the freaking try hardedness to be waiting in that shopping cart and then go through the pain when it gets removed from shit like, yeah. But bro, 2K, you gotta make this fun, man. You gotta make it fun while keeping the comp so it's not boring. Cause it will, I'm, trust me, I know it probably gets boring and it's already boring on this current gen. It, so it's nothing is really changed on the next gen. I mean, it's like, it's way less comp. It's like the, the gameplay in itself, you can see it is way less comp. People getting bots left and right. They getting like, it's just an ISO game. The, the purpose of defense is non-existent. So we need to find that balance and be able to make 2K a game where we could come back home like eager, like we out here waiting. Like I remember that 2K17, I was I was playing that up until August. Like uh, up until August, I was buying VC. It was such a fun game. I mean, that loading screen was obviously, hoo -hoo, but in my opinion, 2K16 was better, 2K14 too, because that was like my first experience with 2K. But like, bro, all I know is that feeling was unmatched and it was like, it felt rewarding. It felt like a grind. Like it, it was a good amount of, of a grind, but hey, that's up to 2K. I mean, yeah, it's only up to them. But hey, I hope y'all like the video. I hope y'all like my little talk to, you know, TED talk go crazy. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.